Yeah, it's the 501, baby. Uh-huh. You know how we get down on the Wolf Eating Podcast. Woo! Shout out OD, shout out G Holmes, it's the baby. Big sexy. Yo, welcome back to another episode of the Woo Pig Podcast, coming to you live from Insurance Max Studios. Man, we talking about Arkansas Razorback football and basketball every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. Man, also check out the website at thewoopig.com. Man, I want you to experience peace of mind with Insurance Max, man. Give my guys a call. They're your one-stop solution for home, auto, and commercial insurance statewide. Man, don't even wait. Call them today. Even after the show, call them, leave a message, free, no obligation quote. Secure your message with insurance, your future with insurance, Max, where protection meets affordability. Dial now and safeguard what matters most. Hit my guys up, Wes and Caleb, 870-534-2823. Man, the Woo Pig Podcast, man, we streaming on all major platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch. Make sure you subscribe to us on all platforms. We even on Rumble. If you enjoy audio only, you can find us everywhere. Apple Podcasts, but we really rock with Spotify because you can switch between audio and video. Check us out over there as well. And we can't forget about our guys over at 3M Electric. Serving Northwest Arkansas, they are your trusted commercial and residential electrical contractor. As a SDVOSB, they are dependable and reliable with no job too big or small when it comes to your electrical needs. Contact my guys at 3M Electric. 479-408-9865. Let them know you heard it on the Woo Pig podcast. Man, shout out to to, to Woo Pig DZ, man, for that intro music. Man, I tell you, they give me hype every single time, man. But hey, man, you already know who I got in the building. (laughs) Yo, what it do, Woo Pig family? It's your boy G Holmes in the building, a.k.a. Big Sexy. Somebody out there, holla for me. We OD, what it do, baby? Hey man, we here for another round, man. And this time, shoot, we got the bad little brother in the building, man. He, he ain't doing he showed bad up on time tonight. I'm bad. <laughs> Who's bad? Shimon. <laughs> <laughs> what it do, with pig family? The bad little brother is back. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta man. take this sucker everywhere. Everywhere we you go, know. man. Hey man. The, the the rumor mill is, is out here today, man. It's out here, Uh-oh. and we came to talk about it fresh, right off the top of the dome, man. Mm-mm. Hey, hey, Razorback fans, I'm here to tell you right now, y'all. After these next two games, y'all might as well get ready to look for a coach, man. Mm-mm. Look for a coach. Yeah. Because word on word on the street, straight out the box. Hey, straight out, straight out. Word on the street. My source is telling me, Muscleman yeah. is out of here, bro. Allegedly. Hey, he that's what my sources are saying. They saying he hey, out of here. He out of here. Why? Okay, he out of here because of Whoopi Podcast, man. We out here with all these rumors that's coming true. I can't blame him. Man. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry, dog. We know your friends. Yeah. It's all good, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we gonna we gotta keep it real for the streets, man. We gotta keep hey. it real for the streets. They they said Muslim couldn't find his way to Hot Springs without a GPS. <laughs> mm, he don't know nothing about the you don't want nothing about what they the natural say. state, man. Hey, that's a West Coast boy. <laughs> hey, yeah. they said they said he don't even know what Conway is on the map. Mm-hmm. Where was Musk born at? I need to look this up. Ain't no nobody even. I mean, it don't matter where he's born. I really? mean, you know, it's one thing. You know, one thing about Arkansas, man. You just gotta you gotta be from here to understand and to love it. Mm-hmm. If you ain't from Arkansas, you it ain't a place that you just gonna be like, man. I just love it here. I love Unless you're that, just a country nigga. boy. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I am that. I'm country, so I, I always say, you know, it's a special place. I done 
been around the world and now yeah yeah you know uh I, it's something about you know being in arkansas man it's different man it ain't it ain't too fast it ain't too slow you know and it's i can be downtown and i can leave and be on on, on the horse in 10 minutes you know what i'm saying riding out in the country i could be on the side by side you know out there riding around my family got thousands of acres out here and I could be out there doing that, man. You know, so it's a special place for me, because my parents, my great grand, uh, my great grandfather escaped slavery in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, back in 1890, and they came in a horse and buggy to to Arkansas, man, and and got you know thousands of acres of land down here, and called it home, and it's been our home. And so my great grandfather, you know, he. He put it in an LLC so it can never be sold. It can only be passed down to the descendants. So it's special for me. You know what I'm saying? And I take people out there and show them all this land. And I say, look here, man, everywhere you look, it belongs to us. So it's special. So you can go places, but this is this is where I truly call home. So Arkansas is special for me, man. Mm. Man, hey, if he escaped from Tuscaloosa to Arkansas, he ain't make it that far. <laughs> hey, man, that's a, hey, that's a, hey, that's a long, hey, man, that's a long way with Mister Bubba up and looking for you, man. I promise you, <laughs> that's a long man. I got some pictures. I ain't never showed you them pictures, man, of my family in there. Man, this is a sad story, bro. That's crazy. Nah, it's a sad either. story, man. I, but I, you, I took you down there. You've been down to the country though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bruh. So it's um, special. But, man, I tell you, man, I'll say this about if, if Musselman does leave, and, and it's looking like he is, he gave us something to cheer about for five years. I mm-hmm. will give him that. I ain't going to hold him. Yeah. Man, he, he, he uh, it's, it's all good. Yeah. So. Yeah, for me especially. Like, for the young fans out there. Must was the highlight of our basketball lives. So like, I, I, I'm going to be a little upset if you leave. I'm going to keep it real. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Uh, Eric Musman has gave, has given us five good years, something to cheer about. I mean, watch this, my one of my favorite players, J.D. Note, play for mm-hmm. Eric Musselman. Uh, some elite eights, two of them. Sweet 16. Man, we, we got good memories with Eric Musselman, man. I, I I just hate that hey, it ain't never became home to him. So yeah. it's all good. We 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 gonna ride with him. You know, we we gonna ride with him with what we had him and then we gonna holler at him. Shout out to Mr. Nugget, man. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, Nima, that ain't the way you spell my name, sucker. It's H O L M E S. Get it straight. <laughs> <laughs> he said G homeless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she hopeless. Come on, man. <laughs> but yeah, see, my story a little different when it comes to this whole Arkansas thing. See, I'm a mutt. Like I, I spend time in the city, in the country, a little bit everywhere, and I never really truly appreciated Arkansas until I moved to California, and that's when I realized, nah, this ain't me. Arkansas is home. I'm thankful for it. I remember being in California. All my homies, USC, UCLA fans. I'm a hog, baby, every day. And then my love just kind of grew stronger having to defend myself. They like, y'all wear shoes in Arkansas? I was like, hey, I used to tell them only on Sundays. (laughs) Boy, that's hilarious, man. I just say y'all wear shoes. Well, man, I got a tough. picture with my mama now, man. My mama now, they was they were broke, man. They was they was broke, bro. They had to share shoes, so mm. it happens. <laughs> it's real talk. Boss hog, I don't know which boss hog this is. I think this boss hog, boss hog number two. He said, if he leaves, Luann will be in every comment section celebrating. If you don't know who that is, count your count yourself blessed. Lori Ann, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, know who Lord that is. is. Yeah, we don't know. That's definitely boss hog number two. It's it's two boss hogs in here, and I yeah. I I got to look at the hell the helmet on one of them. I, that's the that's OG boss hog right there. Is that it? Duke's a hat. 
I thought he had an underscore. Yeah, nah, nah. This boss hog number two right here. Yeah, he got an underscore in his. Yeah. Uh, You know the easy way to tell him. One's a member, one's not. So he's not a member. So there we go. So that's uh, the other boss hog. Yeah. So, man, that's that's word on the street right now. Muscleman is out of here. Hey, count it. You heard it here first. They said Muscleman is done. He got a now. I was looking at uh, coaching changes. They tweeted that of all the coaches out there, that Musselman is like a forty-eight percent chance that he's out of here. Forty-eight percent. Forty-eight. Good. That's forty-eight. And that's 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 coming from some big. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's that's from some. You know, some of them heavy hitters out there in, in the streets, man, in the coaching searches and all that type of stuff. His name done got out there. Yeah. Some people saying he going to UCLA. That ain't going to happen. They owe that. They owe their coach $24 million. He ain't going nowhere. Mm-mm. Nah, he ain't going nowhere. So Arizona, they saying Arizona State, man, is the spot, man. If you saw my, if you saw the thumbnail, must have been looking in the newspaper, man. He he trying to get that Arizona State job because Hur- Bobby Hurley is out of there probably. So, man, I, I just wonder what what led to this because you can't tell me this time last year when we was tourney bound that he was thinking about leaving. Is it is it truly just one bad season got him ready to shake the town? No, nah, I think he just don't like it here. Yeah, I mean, if and, you ever, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was gonna say, and we we talked about it before about the shelf life. And you know they, you know his shelf life, and this is coming from somebody that we talked to that's that's in his camp, and they were saying that his shelf life is only between four and five years, and if you look at his track record, it's true. So yep. there you go. So I can't even lie about that one because everything says that you can't show me a school that he been through. Uh, you know, been a tenure there longer than that. I'll wait. Yeah, yeah, this is actually his longest stop. He was only at Nevada for four. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, mm-hmm. and y'all, y'all ever noticed that every time the Hawks got two days off, Musselman on the beach, Musselman in yeah. Atlanta, Musselman yeah. kicking at somebody NBA camp. Yep. He ain't never here. He two days off, I'm out of here. Yeah, yeah, he had to. He get on the first thing smoking out of here. Bruh. No practice. No practice. We ain't gonna need practice while we off because y'all suck anyway. I'm finna go out here. <laughs> <laughs> no we practice. Gonna smart, yeah. You're gonna let smart run the practice, man. You handle, handle your business. Yeah. Run the practice. I'll be back. <laughs> That's crazy, man. <laughs> he out there on Instagram caking. <laughs> Boy. He in the airport Bruh. taking pictures with people. Yeah. <laughs> man, ain't y'all supposed to be at practice? Hey man, they got it. <laughs> 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 they got it. Leave them alone. They be all right. They go, they losing anyway. That's what he really be telling them. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> man! Shout out to Woo Pig Double O in the building. Blevins what up, Woo Pig? Let's shout some people out. Nima always in the building. Matt, yes sir. Matt kicking it with us. Who else we got in here that always? Caleb, nephew in the building. He in the building. Fishman in the building. Black neighbors in the building with us tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Black neighbors. We ain't forgot about you. <laughs> Yo. Camo Gang. <laughs> Jeremiah. Hey, we like to welcome everybody to the Cold Mayonnaise Show. Where if you sleep it, we're going to give you something to go to sleep on. Black Neighbors. <laughs> That's what we go nickname it. Night Quill Neighbors. And let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> go over there and holler at them. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, but that's that's what we have on that on that for the night, man. Yeah. Uh, we we gonna come I, back with a sec with a second rendition of our segment. Who you got? DZ created this. We had so much fun with it, so we just gonna make it a segment now. So before yeah, we we'll get into this, this next segment, man, DZ, we gotta shout the sponsors out, man. You already know. Let's get it, man. <laughs> so you know. We got to shout out our sponsors, man. Shout out to the people that keep us going. 
outside of the fans. First of all, I want to give a lot of love to Insurance Max. Experience the peace of mind with Insurance Max, your one-stop solution for home, auto, and commercial insurance statewide. Don't wait. Call today for a free no-obligation quote. Secure your future with Insurance Max, where protection meets affordability. Uh, dial now and safeguard what matters most. Get those guys a call at 870-534-2823. And then you know we got to give love to 3M Electric, the official sponsor of the you know, the boys, one of our, our great sponsors, serving Northwest Arkansas. They're your trusted and commercial residential electric contractors. As an SDV, OSB, they're dependable and reliable. No job too big or too small. And we don't just say that. Like, whatever you need, they got you. So when it comes to your electrical needs, call 3M Electric, 479-408-9865. And let them know you heard it on the best podcast in the city, baby, in the land, in the state, in the country. Wool Pig Podcast. Yeah, yeah. Yo, before we <clears throat> before we get into this segment, man, where uh where box at? I don't know. He ain't came, he ain't okay. in. He uh Yeah, we need box key. for this one. Yeah, we gotta get uh There you go, he just called in. Oh, okay, cool. Man. We yeah, got what do. <laughs> Mama. There go that uh, man. <laughs> I'm about to log, log back in. What happened? Uh, froze. I'll call you right back. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> That boost mobile. Why he doing that, man? I got a couple super chats, man. Shout out to Little Rock Two Five One Seven, man. He always, always rocking with channel, us, man. man. We appreciate the love in the building, man. I'm telling you, he helping keep the lights on right here. We got another super chat, man, from Fish Man. Uh, Fish man. Last year, Mus was given a gift with the NCAA tournament berth. Without that, a lot of people would look at him differently. But I still appreciate them. Oh yeah, facts. You know, Big we facts. we ain't gonna need hold them. You know what I'm saying? We we been on this dome because hey man, they've been losing. But we ain't mm. saying nothing no different than we was saying even when we was winning. We was winning uh, even when we had JD Note, hey, me and OD, and that's JD Note is OD boy. And we was saying then, bruh, if they didn't have JT Note, man, what would we be doing for off? Said that a bunch of times, man. So we we always said that we always said he didn't run an offense. So we ain't saying nothing no different. Y'all just weren't able to hear it until we, you know, created this show right here and then brought it to you guys. That y'all just look in the window. So we've been we've been saying that type of stuff. Mm hmm. Hey man, shout out to our, uh, Little Rock two five one seven man. He hit us with another super chat, man. Man, Tell that's me, man. love. That's love. So. Yeah. Getting into the segment, man. Who you got, man? Who you got? Who you got? Who you got? Man. So as y'all know, the last episode, it was about building hope. It was about taking y'all out of the mindset of the loser program that we are at the time. Well, today it's not that. Today, <laughs> we back into reality, people. I need to know who you got in each situation. If your life was on the line. Which one of these people or groups of people would you choose? So let's get let's into get, it, shall we? Let's get into <laughs> it. Box it up straight, man. I tell you, I mean, <laughs> this dude always be like, "Damn, low." We got to get him some stage presence. <laughs> Come on, man. You got to do better, bro. <laughs> we got to get him a back brace. <laughs> back Run, Forrest. <laughs> hey, man. First on the list, man. Worst mm, coach in, in Arkansas Razorback history, man. Who Ooh. you got, man? <laughs> which man. one? Which one was worse? Matter of fact, let, let's start this one off like that. Who was the bigger disappointment? And I want to hear why. Ha hammer down. Hammer down. We're going we gonna to hammer down. We're going to get in the left-hand lane, and we're going to hammer down. <laughs> I, I, I think this is easy. Super quiet. Man. It's gonna be Chad Morris because Stan he did have so so team. Did we get to a tournament with Stan? Man, I don't man, me no. It was the most disappointing years ever in Razorback <laughs> basketball history, man. <laughs> man, you know, you know what? 
I don't, I don't know. Think, I think I think yeah, it was disappointing once Stan he left and Mike Pelfrey came in. I mean that I mean Pelfrey him and Pelfrey were tit for tat for for right. the most terrible. Yeah. Well, they either way suck. it go, either way it go, Chad Morris tops everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I seen the matter. national. I seen a national <laughs> post and they had Chad Morris in the top five worst coaches of all time. So oh, no. I don't think when he was at Arkansas, that. <laughs> bro. What, bro? What he went like? What four and twenty or something crazy? Yeah, it was terrible, all time man. bad. <laughs> yeah, all it was time bad. bad. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna choose uh, Chad Morris for my worst guy as far as coaching between those two. Because yeah, I really man. think, uh, cause Stan Heath was just, he was a mercy hire anyway. They just had yeah. to, after firing, uh, Mike Anderson, they, they Nolan. had to get another brother. Nolan. I mean, yeah. After firing Nolan, they had to get another brother. So they was like, see, see, we, we, we don't not like black people. <laughs> we don't, <laughs> we don't not like y'all, but, uh, see, we hired y'all Stan Heath. Wah, wah, wah. That dude was garbage. <laughs> hey, somebody just brought up a great point, though. Who that? Nima said, Morris recruited Pittman's best players. Burks, KJ, Buster Brown, and Stromberg. That's mm. a good point. Burks Burke, Burke was coming anyway. Mm. But, but, we are talking about coaching. We're not talking about recruiting. There's great recruiters, horrible coaches. That's true. Great recruiters, because he sold himself to everybody else in that press conference. Hey man, yeah. we just gonna we gonna we gonna get in the left hand lane and we gonna hammer down. We're gonna put up some points. Man. We lost so he, he's he a life. great recruiter. In Kentucky, North Texas, Colorado State. Man, we we lost us some some bomb teams, bro. We we did bombs. I Straight mean bombs. But we lost to uh Western yeah. Kentucky and what's the the guy who that used to play for the Hogs that left and came back. Uh, how am I blanking on his name? Because he was our quarterback the year before. Bro, uh, he came back. Ty to Story. Ty Story. Oh, yeah, Ty boy, Story. He, he came and put the business Ooh. on us, man. Boy, he boy he molly whopped us, man. I was like, he was out here looking like a Heisman candidate. Man, hey, I just I just looked it up and Stan he did in Arkansas to the NCAA tournament one time. Oh, okay. With what was that his with, first year with the players that Nolan had? Don't yes, matter. he led. He, hey, he led him. Yes. Now. What, what did <laughs> yeah. Chad Morris do? Nothing. Hey, don't, hey. It don't matter. Nothing. <laughs> they, they both suck. <laughs> we still digging up out of that Morris hole. But let's go to the next one, shall we? We got Moses Moody versus Drew Sanders. Now this one not a who worse. I want to know who you like better. If your life was on the line and you needed one of them to make or break your team, who you picking? <sighs> who going first? I'm taking the linebacker. Yes, sir. Drew Sanders. I got to agree. Uh, Drew Sanders me, was that boy. Yeah, I, I'm taking Drew Sanders all day. I mean, it's not even yeah. it's not even really a question for me. Yeah, I'm one. sorry. I I really never liked Moses Moody as a basketball player. Yeah. I'm sorry. He's just not my guy. Drew Sanders is it, man. Drew and, I mean, because beast. what – let me ask you guys this. When it comes to – uh. Um, dang, Moody. Really, what did he – was he just balling like that to be a, you know, an NBA prospect? I didn't – I didn't. I don't really remember him just, like, cooking like that. Moody, mm. Moody was just studied. He was a studied yeah. basketball player that came in with height. But you know what I'm saying? So I, I don't really just remember him just cooking all the time. Like, oh, this hey, – bro, this bro right here getting it in. I don't remember that. Yeah, he had a few good games, but that's about it. Maybe like a, yeah. a couple twenty fives. Eh, Moses Moody was just—he was so—he—he he was just a poor man, Joe Johnson. Man, I'm sorry, I did not like him. Man, <laughs> he was not the poor man, Joe Johnson. I mean, he hey. really just never balled. He never took over the game. I mean, yeah, at least Joe Johnson saying. would be like scoring 20, 20, 20, 25 points, and you didn't even realize he had scored that many. He just was yeah. just scoring. They, yeah. I mean, he Facts. really was just not that – I didn't like Moses well, Moody, man. I just Moody, didn't like him. Moody, 
Moody was an all-around player because he gave you 14, 15 points a game, plus he gave you defense. And so, but he just, he just, he just wasn't the worst, and he didn't woe you. He's played yeah. a study game the whole year. Yeah, hmm. I think if he would have stayed another year, he could have showed us more, but he didn't. If he stayed all year, he wouldn't have been a lottery pick. That's true. He did what he was mm. supposed to do. Get that. Get to the money, man. Get to the yeah. money as fast as possible. Man, who I, else? I mean, I ain't gonna hold him. Yeah, who else we got on the list, man? Who else? We hey, got? it only get better from here. <laughs> Ooh, Lord. <laughs> hey. Oh man. Hey. <laughs> so for the people who don't know, we got our boy Chandler. I don't even know what his nickname is, Lawson. We never get we never gave him a nickname. When we call him Chandler Long Arm Lawson. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Chandler, Chandler Centipede Super Lawson. <laughs> and then we got Hudson Clark. Man. Who would you take? Super if you had to have one of them on your team and they had to start, who would you pick? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going, going to play Clark. with either four or ten players is what I'm going to do. <laughs> hey. Hey. I'm playing with four hey. players or ten. Hey, <laughs> take our Clark, man. hey this how bad this how bad loss have been this year. I'm going to take Clark because he did have the <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Well, <laughs> hey, baby, but that was three years ago, man. That was three years ago against Ole no, Miss. He, he had some last year. He had so, some this year. Yeah, he, he. But, but that's how bad Lawson is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, with, I'm taking, I'm taking Hustle Clock, man. Hey, that, I got the comments in the uproar because I see a different name on every person, man. I need y'all to get it together in there. Who y'all got, man? Man, I'm, we, taking, I'm taking Hudson Clark, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take Hudson Clark. And, and you know how we be on his dome. That's how bad I don't want to see Channel Lawson play. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because Channel Lawson, man, when he – we just talked about this, man. The last game, how, man, how you starting playing 26 minutes and only scoring two points? What you mean? Mm. <laughs> two points, four points. What you mean? Come on, bro. And you got to start. Man, if you don't get off my phone with that, I ain't trying to hear none of that. Hey, give me, hey, give me, give me the slow boy. I mean, uh, yeah, give me, give me seventeen. I, I don't know. I, I don't even care. <laughs> I like this nickname, man. Slawson. <laughs> <laughs> the boy Slaw. Slawson. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I see a oh, lot D, of everybody you got? going with Clark. Man, you, I'm yeah. going with some Clark, man. I, I, I do not like Clark uh, Slawson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I right, give me Hustle yeah, Clark, man. man. That's just how bad yeah. I think. These are who you plays. choose. Man, you know you're gonna I choose don't. Lawson. You know, when I made this, I, I couldn't even wrap my mind around who I would want. Uh I guess Hudson can at least play zone. So but I uh yeah, uh, I hate yeah. Hey, this for all y'all people out there that say we hate Hudson Clark. <laughs> Hey, it's people worse out there who got it worse than Hudson got it. So, I'm a, I'm gonna give it to Clark, man. Let's go, Hudson. Mm. Hey, man, the nicknames is hilarious. Says <laughs> Jack said Chandler Cole Slauson. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> oh, snap! Oh, this is hilarious. <laughs> they slousing Gumby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm taking right, Clark. Man. Who else we got, man? Who we got? Uh, oh, what's this mm, one, DJ? Mm, this is a two-on-two. Two. So I want to know if you need it. Matter of fact, scratch that. We're going to take it back to the bottom. Which of these two was a bigger letdown this season? Rocket and KJ or Devo and Brazil? Which, which, which group let you down the absolute most and broke your soul? Oh, this well, is easy. It's Rocket easy. and KJ because they couldn't even score three po- They couldn't even score seven points one game. Mm, okay. I ain't you mad at bad, it. Yeah, do y'all know how bad that was? Seven to three? What Devo <laughs> and uh, <laughs> what what they do? What you mean, what, what they do? 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 But, do you know how bad. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? Hey, 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 but do, do, do y'all on, know man. how. Do, do y'all know how bad seven to three is at home? <laughs> That's hey, terrible. you know how bad them rumors was when they was talking about us on the news? Oh, that ain't 
really no letdown, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, there ain't no, no letdown. Yeah. But 7-3 at home? 7-3 at home? That's a that's letdown. That's a letdown. Yeah. I can't hold him on that. I can't mm -hmm. even hold him on that. I'm going to go. I, for me, I'm, I'm going with KJ and Rocky. Mm. I'm yeah. not going to lie. My answer is Devo in Brazil, man. I'm Why sorry. Why you say that, bro? Because we got a super senior guard who was supposed to be this defensive legend who didn't do nothing, had one game a year ago where he put over 20 points, ain't did nothing since. In Brazil, I don't even like saying his name no more. He just nothing. He is nothing. <laughs> like, he might as well not exist. He's a ghost. So, I'm sorry, but I think Devo in Brazil, for me, easy. Mm. Man. Um, when I think about KJ, we just talking about this year, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. just this year. Okay. Yeah, easily. KJ Who you got? Rocket, man. KJ and Rocket. And I'm why do you man. say? Give give it a re, give a reasoning behind that. So I my expectation for Devo wasn't to be the best player on the team. My expectation was for Devo was to be the leader of the team. Yeah. He wasn't that. But he oh, okay. Brazil was expected to be somebody that we thought would elevate his game, but I almost gotta give him a pass because of the injury. Man, here we go with that. I got to give him a pass, bro. So that's why I'm saying it, the, other, the, the, dummy. the guys on, on the top wasn't coming off no injuries. Rocket was nah. it? Rocket had an injury the whole year. Bro, Same Rocket injury as Brazil. Injury. Rocket now, was just getting that money and trying to get out of there. Did, did we not say that? Now, this is before we was doing Meet the Hawks. We talking about Rocket could be over 1,400 1, yards. Yeah, yeah, we was calling for 1,600 club, 1,500 club. We, we talking about KJ and the Heisman. We did. What them do? We you did. talking about flop? Well, they, they, Brazil. they flopping. They flopping like throwing a, throwing a fish on the bank outside out of water. Boy, they just flopping. That was terrible. I feel like mm. Brazil and KJ are on the same boat with that flopping. I'm sorry. Brazil hey, is supposed to be hey, a, a household Daisy. name by now. Daisy, which one was easier to get? A bowl game or NCAA tournament game? I mean, tournament bid. A tournament a easily. A, a bowl game. Oh, you ain't you got crazy? to win but six games, bro. Ah, okay. I, I guess I was thinking about high end bowls. You're right. And, and you don't think them seven three games like that hurt us? The BYU game at home yeah. hurt us. So which one was the more disappointment? It's still the the I don't even want to call them what I want to call them, but them. I'm okay. sorry. I just they they just let me down so hard. Like so, the football like, team didn't. Yeah, they did. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, but like <laughs> this basketball team just and I, I guess I'm also chalking it up to the sport. You know, with football, it takes so many more parts. Your offensive coordinator was bad. Your old line was bad. So in a, in a way, I could almost say it wasn't even Rocket and KJ fault completely. It was a lot of their fault, but not completely. But with the basketball guys, you have no excuse, bro. You could have one good player on a team and go to the tournament like I've seen it happen. So I just, it's less of an excuse for basketball players. Y'all got less people y'all depending on, and y'all have more power to control the game. So, no, nah, I'm sorry. The basketball think, guys got it for me. I, I just think you just saying that because we in basketball season. Because we were in football season, you be saying it was football. <laughs> or maybe I just hate these dudes a lot. I'm, I don't hate them, but I hate that game a lot. Let me say that. Mm -hmm. Man, Michael Matters, man, I hate that you so sensitive, man, in the comments, man. If you want to unsubscribe, baby, hey, as I tell everybody, don't let the dough hit you with a good low split you. We, we say what okay, we number. say over here, man. I said we said mm -hmm. what we said, man. We just in we here. We said what we talking. said, bro. Don't be don't get your panties in the bunch, man. Hey, man, I'm, man, I'm, I'm a, telling I'm a, you. I'm just like I always say, if you got that much to say, hit that link. <laughs> That's a fact. We, we ain't gonna even drop it for them. <laughs> Tell them to go on there and holler at them boys over there so they can pump some sunshine where we want that dough knob to hit you. So don't worry about what we say, bro, because we're gonna say what we say and we're not gonna apologize for it. We ain't no bullies. We just some bros in the barber shop. Hey, can, can one of y'all do me this favor? Hit that hit that Devo song for me. Oh, who, do, who want it? Wait a minute, wait. Hey, who want it? Hit, hit, this is for Michael. Hit that Devo song for Michael. <laughs>
Hey. <laughs> you can get it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what we don't hey, got is hey, soft hey, feelings. Hey, 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 DZ, tell him where he can go. Get, get him, get him the mic. Get, get him Mike Neighbors. Tell him where he can go. <laughs> like, dude, I don't even know why you bother with these guys. You can come to my channel. <laughs> we have a great time. I promise, the best time. <laughs> <laughs> Man, who, who else we got on the list, man? Man, y'all get out of here with that. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, okay. What's this one? Hey, hey, Which? Up, before, we, before we move to this one, I want to say thank you, man, for everybody in the comments, man. All, all my guys in the comments, man, rocking with us. I also want to thank the 170 people we got in the in the building, man. Go ahead and hit that like button for me if you like what we're doing, man. If you want to see us continually be here, talk this barbershop talk. Man, make sure you guys hit the like button for us. All right, Deezer, go ahead. All right. So I need y'all's opinion. Which home loss to Auburn was the worst? The 48 and 10 to debacle or the 83 51 all time worst in Bud Wall Arena Classic? Which which loss broke y'all hey. heart the most? Mm mm mm. Mm. Dang. <laughs> yeah. We speechless, man. We try to remember which one of the whoopers are the worst. <laughs> man. Um, <gasps> I I must I'm gonna go out on the limb here and I'm gonna say 48 to 10 was was the worst. And I'm gonna say it for this reason. We've also had moments where we have embarrassed Auburn. We ain't talking about. We ain't talking about. We ain't talking about that. I know. We talking about still this year. We talking about the, the football this, game this was year. the worst, bro. The football I'll game the, was the worst. Yeah, I say the football game too, because we had just beat Florida. Yeah. So. Mm. All right, so I need. Hold on, I need everybody answer. So, OD, you said football. Box, you said football. All right, G, what you say? I for me. You know, it's always, you know, like, you remember that old school uh, Under Armour commercial where I think it was Ray Lewis that was on that job. He was like, we must protect this house. <laughs> Man, you you can lose at home, but you got to, you know, in your front yard, you got to, you know, you got to turn around. You know, when I was coming up, man, you know, we lived in the bricks. And sometimes, you know, I would be, you know, having to hurry up and get to the house. And my daddy was at home one time, and he was like, look, you can run home, but when you get to your yard, you turn around. He said, don't never let nobody come in your yard and whoop you. He said, you live here, so you set traps for them. So I used to lay little sticks by the bushes and wait on them. You know what I'm saying? So I run <laughs> home, and I run by that little tree. I know where that stick is. And bait them in, turn around, whop. But I was in my front yard, though. So I always believe that you're supposed to protect the house. So to suffer the worst loss in the house that Nolan built, mm. man, that's going down in history. That's the house Nolan <laughs> built, man. The dude that we we all show our love to, man, Nolan Richardson. We got his name on the court. And y'all suffered the worst loss in Razorback history in that building. That one was Come it on. for me. But see, I don't say it's the worst loss because we had already lost the we already lost, got blowed out. Not by 31, 32, or whatever it was. That was the worst yeah. loss in Bud Walton history, bro. Yeah. I mean, shout out to Tessero87, man. He said, as long as the show has the legendary box, I'll be in the building like G Holmes. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> G Holmes in the building. AKA. Big sexy. Oh my god. You know what it do, baby. Appreciate your support. Absolutely, man. Shout out to Fishman and Test Row 87 for supporting the channel, man. As Fishman says, for DZ, <laughs> DZ making me laugh with the neighbor stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, are you guys seriously still tuned into this? This is crap. Okay. <laughs> there is nothing great about this. We love the Razorbacks. And anybody who doesn't love the Razorbacks. They need to go home and go to sleep. 
Hey man, <laughs> shout out to Woo Pig Double O. Arkansas is claimed to be the basketball palace of Mid America. Say it again. That's that's what I'm trying to told you, man. man that, was, that was in the nineties. <laughs> that's the house that Nolan built, Sucker, That's what are we talking about? Yeah, no, Nolan been gone, bro. Mm. But ain't no loss ever happened in that building like that. Thirty two. Man, UCLA, UCLA used to be top notch when old boy was that coach and Kareem Abdul Jabbar. When he left, they wasn't. So that 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 palace crap. Hey, man. That was that was nineties, early two thousand crap. That ain't happening now. Well, we don't uh, for we me, done got blowed out this year and lost at home this year. You should have expected something like that because we became blowed out anyway. But that football game. When we just lost, beat Florida, everybody was on an all time high till we got to the house. That was more <laughs> than, that was a more worse loss. Well, it wasn't for me. <laughs> hey man, I'm so, sorry. So, I'm picking so I'm at? picking I'm picking basketball just to end it off. I think the basketball home loss was one of the worst displays I've ever seen. Mm. The worst. And huh? and, and Especially when you talk about the amount of talent this team had. Like, we just took Kentucky down to the wire again. And then you mean to tell me we got blew out by Auburn? Come on now. That what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey that, that, that question right there, I ain't tripping. Our expectation would dash a long time for that game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, All right. oh, snap. Oh, no. Now it's time to get funky. Yeah, we're going to get real funky with it right now because Box hate both of them dudes. <laughs> hey, I, when I made this, I had one person in mind, and his Box. first name is Eric. <laughs> Box hate both of these dudes with a passion. <laughs> so I'll this one, go this then. one we're going to do, uh, who do you dislike the most? I hate using the word hate. I'm not going to use the word hate. But which one of these guys can you just simply not stand the most? KJ. <laughs> Woo! I didn't expect and, and, that. And, and, and get a reason why. I mean, we you got to give a why with your with your answer. I, I think KJ being more of a prima donna than he is a great player. Because ever since Burks left, KJ been on the down spiral ever since. And, and you don't think that's true on both ends? I, I, I think, I think, you see what's on Devo Nils right there? Uh-uh. I think that hurt him more than this. Yeah. I, I think, I think that was his, that was his downfall because he, he was just going all black. Then he started getting colorful stuff. So, I don't like honestly, the way he hold his this, hand. This is what, this is what I think about Devo. I think Arkansas, <laughs> I think, I think Arkansas kids in general, can't handle <laughs> money. And I think Devo got all that money and it went to his head. It went to his nails. But what I want to say is this. <laughs> Only one of these two guys quit on their team twice. That's all I'm going to say. Mm. Yeah. I mean, Jefferson quit. He just still played. <laughs> Thank you, Box. <laughs> Thank you, Box. <laughs> I'm buying in you, the Box. building. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, I was about to beat y'all up. I'm offing y'all and give me no link, but I'm at work. Y'all got the link drop. I was about to be uh, DDT OD. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, we was finna DDT you. This your third episode in a row. Agreeing with Box. What's going on? What's really going on? <laughs> well, look, hey, hey, my hey. Fault, hey, my fault. Hey, my fault. Box got a little common sense, and y'all ain't using y'all head. Hey, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what I'm is doing. He just setting up the stage for 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 his for his boxing channel. <laughs> nah, Box. <laughs> Cause I'm probably gonna get you. I'm probably gonna get you way harder in regards to that. So don't even do it. You better stop. All right. The reason why I got KJ is for a couple of reasons. <clears throat> Listen, both of them have had some some shining moments in regards to the team, right? And you know, we throw this old Devo quit twice. The first year, I'm gonna excuse last year. This year, I don't necessarily excuse. But KJ quit in the middle of the season during games. When you when I see you keep what keep Devo keying do? with the Auburn player, at least when Devo uh, quit, what do you mean what Devo do? He quit in the yeah, middle of the season both times yeah, during games. He, he, 
But he stepped away though instead of go out there being super trash. And the thing is, the first one I know it was it was due to family Devo did issues. Both. I know that you do the you gonna, he, Diesel, he was, you gonna let me get my two minutes on this? My with your, bad. Without he, the filibuster, you you filibustering right now. <laughs> 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 okay, Devo. Are y'all forgetting that Devo is the reason why we made it to the Sweet Sixteen last year? He is the sole reason why we made it to the Sweet Sixteen last year. I, I listen, disagree. Devo got his fallacies. Bro, the man. Okay. Okay, he's not the sole reason because it was Council as well who finished it off. But Devo was the catalyst that kept us in the game to bring the game close and get the lead against Kansas. He scored 20, 22, 23 points in the second half. Stop. We got to get – listen, Devo has his deficiencies. Devo has his moments where we like, what are you doing on that floor? But KJ quit on the team while the games were going. He was kiki keying with the Auburn players after losing by 38 at home. And the offensive line didn't want to block for him because he was acting holier than Dow because he got this money and he acting high sedity. I don't see that from Devo see that from KJ and the teammates that he had. When you got Centennial saying oh, hey, listen, the culture has changed because certain players left, he was talking about KJ. It's a difference between the two. Stop the madness. KJ gets more flack because he was supposed to be the best quarterback in the SEC last year. Devo wasn't the best, supposed to be the best uh, best player in the SEC this year. And KJ didn't come nowhere close to hitting that level. Stop it. And DZ, roll all your eyes all you want. I said what I said. It's fact. <laughs> he, said, he said what he said. Yeah, Diesel. man, we gonna we gonna welcome somebody new to the building, man. We got Brick City in the building, man. How you doing tonight? What up, Brick City? What up, man? <laughs> man, we appreciate you coming and rocking with the boys in the barbershop, man. Where you from? I'm from El Dorado, but <clears throat> right now I'm in military, so I'm up in Colorado Springs. Okay, okay. Wildcat, okay. Hey, Wildcat City. I'm with uh, El it's beautiful. <laughs> hey, bro, mm -hmm. Cannon Fowler used to stump a dub mud hole in y'all. <laughs> Yo, man, who you who you got, we, man? We gonna show some hospitality, man. We gotta let Brick City get his thoughts across, man. Go ahead and tap hey. in what we're talking about. To be honest, did any of us at the end of the day think the basketball team was not gonna have a letdown? But did we expect the football team to kind of show something out of the two players, KJ and Rocket? I mean, at the end of the day, we had the number one running back in the SEC and possibly mm -hmm. the number one quarterback um, in the league. So when I come, when I break it down, I already knew we were going to have some kind of dip somewhere, but then the drama started. And then when the drama mm -hmm. started, <clears throat> everything just – the wheels fell off the bus. And that's just facts. I mean, we expected more out of KJ because KJ was our dude. KJ was a guy that running up the middle. If you gave him the ball, if the running back couldn't do it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, no lies detected, man. But yeah, I can't even I'm hold a, him on that. I'm gonna say this about the these two guys. I don't dislike either one of them. I don't dislike them either. I can't pick between which guy I dislike the most because I don't dislike either one of them. I got good memories of both of them. I mean. Hey. Mm. Regardless of what we may think about Devo, some of the best memories in recent history, Devo putting his putting his, putting his putting his balls on old boy head against Auburn. Yeah. That was a great moment. Then against Kansas, a great <laughs> moment. Devo, Devo has Robert. given us great moments, man. So Don't I don't me, hate the guy. I can't give me no, I can't give me no pick, take. Of course, I'm going to take note. That's my dude. But yeah. I'm just saying, Devo has done what Devo does, man. And I got to respect him for it. KJ, man, he has given us some, some great times over the last four years. Last year, not so much. But when we came, when he came in and he won those nine games somehow, some way, man, we thought KJ was the guy. And we stepped back the year after we won seven. But, but going into that last year, last year, we thought we was going to be the the stuff we thought we were going to be so we had high expectations and we got let down and now we want to say kj is the bubble gum on the bottom of your shoe but he get you we forget about all the memories we had of these players so i don't dislike either one of them that's my take on it 
Hey, I like what Nima said. He said, Devo, I'll be working in Subway in North Little Rock in a few weeks asking if I want white or wheat. Y'all better y'all better cut that out for Melo get y'all. Uh, you know, that's Melo's guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, look here, for me, okay, th this this is how I feel about it. I mean, I got love for both of them because they both have, you know, been really great at Arkansas. But at the same time, they have been really terrible. So it goes back to who I'm more disappointed in. I'm more disappointed in KJ Jefferson. I'm I'm more disappointed. Even though we 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 own Devo Dome, you know what I'm saying? He just, you know, he got all the symptoms, you know what I'm talking about? And but he was never going to be a lottery pick. That, I mean, that's just the black two sugars. He wasn't a lottery pick last year. I mean, so guess what? He if he was going to be that good this year, then he he would have left. But KJ was heralded. I mean, guess what? If KJ thought he was so good, why is he going down to UCF? Why come he ain't putting his 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 name in the draft this year? Think about that. He ain't putting his name in the draft. He's eligible. He can go. But he know he ain't going to get no burn. So he's trying to go down here, and we're going to play against these high school teams, and maybe I can give me some draft, you know, get my name on the draft board again. Because I can promise you his name ain't. So it's KJ for me. Hey, hold on. Wait a minute. Hey, Melo, you can just leave that coming out because it's a lot of black men that graduated. Three of them, Thanks. four of them is probably on, on, this, on this podcast. So, yeah. just because just because Devo is your family member, don't mean we got to respect him just because he graduated in Arkansas. <laughs> Let's get that straight. <laughs> oh man, hey man, Black Mac Michael Mathers want everyone to unsubscribe from the from the show, man. That's what he want everybody to do, man. He want everybody to unsubscribe, unsubscribe. Oh, man. Shout out to all 164 people, including Michael Mathers. That's his business, man. Man, I was Can I make a statement I, about Michael Madden, though? His Pokemon, it, 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 his image is is fitting. You being soft as a Pokemon right now, bro. <laughs> Listen, dude, it's, we're supposed to have these tough conversations, bro. It comes hey. with the territory. Not too much like, on Pokemon dude. now. Some real ones came from them Pokemon days. Quit playing. Man, well, anyways. Hey, I just wish Karen, Michael Mathers, just leave. <laughs> Who is Karen, man? I don't even see no Karen in the comments, man. <laughs> That's Michael, Michael Mathers. Michael, oh, Michael Mathers. Yes. Oh, he's Karen. Okay, gotcha. Aka uh, and Pokemon. DZ, I don't know what to think about this, man. What what is going on here, man? So, <laughs> first of all, I, you know, I never got to see a picture of them side by side. I always thought they was the same person. I'm gonna keep it real. <laughs> but the real reason I want to bring these guys to your table is, who do you think? has been the better Razorback. Jordan Walsh with his one year of so-so play or Landon Jackson with his one year of so-so play? I was thinking, Did like, you say Landon Jackson who, one year who rocked so -so the ball play? head the most, but I think one of them rocking the ball head because he ain't got a choice. And I don't know about mm -hmm. the one on the other side. I think both of them got the, something. Hey, I ain't want to get into that. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm like, what yeah, is leave the alopecia alone. Picture? Leave the alopecia alone. That's you know, that's the condition. Keep my wife name out your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Can I respond Keep to my wife first? name out your mouth? This is a no comparison, man. Landon Jackson. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And Landon Deezy, Jackson Deezy. definitely. Dizzy, what are you talking about? So so play. Landon Jackson blew up Alabama's backfield the whole game. You talking about so so? That was play. his only DZ good game of the down, season. Bro. Oh my go gosh! Dizzy on the dead. Dizzy on a bad take streak right now. <laughs> bro, Landon Jackson had one decent game in the world. Just went crazy. Okay, congrats. He went crazy on a down year at Alabama. Congrats. <laughs> Dang. Well, Alabama Brick City the, um, championship. Oh. Hold on, I'm gonna bring y'all back on the screen so we just be cool. Y'all, Brick keep City, who you here. got? You ain't you can't get Brick City. What he who who he got? Uh, there's no question. I mean, Jackson was the number one defensive player on our defense this year, to be honest. Because see, he just he just made the point. Alabama, like if you watch the Alabama game, 
I mean, would you would you compare him to the team that beat Georgia, the team that beat that went all the way to the national championship, and he did that to him? I mean, at the end of the day, that's you could have put somebody else on that on that one on the football team. Mm. Man, no no lies detected. So None. that that last one sucked. I ain't gonna tell you no lie. That one sucked. <laughs> that was that was that was it. Now that was yeah. that one first. We should have put that one first. That was right. That one right sucked. There. See, that one was supposed to be comic relief for other oh, reasons. Okay. But we just gonna let it be. You gonna let it slide. Uh, I, think, I think I think Jordan Walsh. I think Jordan Walsh season like a roller coaster. It went up. You had a lot of turns in the middle. Then when it got to the end, to the end of that roller coaster, you had to go smooth to get to your landing. That's what his mm. season was last year. It was a roller well, coaster. All the per, per, go ahead. After, after that game, everybody playing for Jackson. So you could almost almost say he was triple double team. The running back was yeah. on him. He had a little bit harder harder time, but you know. That's facts. Mm-hmm. But you know, if and for me, Jordan Walsh, you gotta remember, he was handcuffed per him. Mm-hmm. Well he said that. So he is balling. He stayed he in power couple too much. Now Moving on in the show, we got one question, then we're going to shut it down. One question, if Musselman leaves, and all indication is he leaving, who? No, it's not. Yes, it is. I'm telling you, unbiased. Hey, man, you you don't know know who we know. I know you love him, but I'm telling you. You better go over there and holler at your boys. I'm telling you. I'm not told, bro. I'm not told. Okay. Go holler at your boys, If he leaves. Who do you want to see take his spate, his spot? Not name Chris Beard. What that you can't you can't take my you wait not a minute. name Chris Beard. We gotta Bro, make y'all you cannot, t- you can't do that. Yes. Because yes, I don't know what saying. everybody gonna say. Not name Chris Beard. Who do you want to see take I his mean, spot? They don't even make no sense. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Devo Davis play right no now. Play. Don't do that, B Holmes. Don't Devo Davis. I don't play no more. I don't want to play no more. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Brick, what you got? I got two people in mind, but to be honest, if he does, you know the university is probably going to push us on to somebody we don't want. We're just going to say, oh, we ain't got the money, but you know, we know. We know. But um, he's going to take his assistant coach, so I don't know. I would try to go after that Kansas City's coach. Kansas State. Kansas State coach, I'm sorry. Um, Tang. Who Tang? Or Wichita State, one or the other. And I'm not saying that from – I'm in Colorado. I just watch the game, and I see them – performing with less talent sometimes than what we have we can't even we can't get our get out of our emotions and out of our own way mm. Mm. okay i'm biased he's biased he said my guy that was my guy kansas state tang that's the guy he he, he reminds me of nolan to some degree he's the he's a great motivator um look at the relationship that he built with one of our former players aka um Desi Seals and how Desi Seals became such a phenomenal role player under that Kansas State team last year. He's a phenomenal coach. I would love to have him. The hands there. Okay. Box. Well, everybody know I've been hollering for the Kansas State coach, or or if not him, give me Will Wade. But a, a dark horse in that is Stackhouse. I think Stackhouse. With the, I mean, it's hard, it's hard to get, it's hard to get players to, to Vanderbilt. Nah, and he done proved he can beat play. Arkansas, and so I think Stackhouse is a good coach. But I would rather take Kansas State or Will Wade. Hmm. Hmm. Mello, hey, Mello that Georgia. game that you said that we said he was suspended. If you go back and look at that game, he played thirty seconds. Yeah, thirty, and we told and we told you the reason why because must be watching the show, and we said this. We said, "Hey, Must is going to play him, so we are not right." And what did he do? He played him for thirty <laughs> seconds. He played thirty seconds that game. He played 30 seconds. 
All right. So, All right. so somebody got some so audio coming through their phone, phone or something. It ain't me this time. It ain't me. <laughs> Hello? Hello? I'm biased. You looking guilty over there. <laughs> I'm definitely guilty. I'm using my other phone. It's definitely me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you stood up. Why don't you stand up, man? You know what I'm saying? I like that about you. I like the way you do business. <laughs> All right. Uh, who? Uh, so we got the... Um, biased, did you go? Yeah, he already said lame. Okay, that's right. Uh, I'm going... I ain't gonna lie. Somebody, somebody said exactly what I was thinking. I'm gonna see if I can find that comment. But I'm gonna go right here. S. Jack, Will Wade, since he can pay legally now, is a, <laughs> since we ain't got to worry about him paying coaches, paying players, and he can legally pay them. Man, Will Wade is the guy. Bring him in. Mm. Y'all see what he doing at McNeese State this year? Yeah, Balling. They cooking. He was, he was they killing balling. at LSU. He was killing LSU before he got in trouble. Mm-hmm. Man. Uh, hey, Man, somebody in the comments said, I'm biased, ain't blinked in seven minutes. <laughs> hey, the, 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 wait, what's, what's, the Auburn, what's the Auburn head coach name? I can't, it slipped my mind. Bruce Pearl. Bruce, yeah. Y'all know what, y'all will, y'all know what make Bruce Pearl a great coach right now? Because he I can pay great. people and not get in trouble with it. Yep. I say good, not great. Bro, Bruce Pearl Auburn team is constantly in the top twenty five. What part of that is not not great? Uh winning the whole thing. That's what I consider great. Or hey, getting hey, in the final four. H- how many have Calipari won at Kentucky? Enough. How many is enough? How many he, he got? Won. He got like hey, did, did didn't he win with Anthony Davis? What else did he win? He got there. But how many have he won? With all he that talent, a lot. with all that talent, but, how many championships have Calipari won at Kentucky? But we can't act like getting there ain't a, an amazing task in college basketball. Um, Lorenzo Applewhite, are we talking about Avery Johnson? <laughs> Not Avery Johnson. That's <laughs> that's your boy from San Antonio. Avery hey, Johnson. Uh, Avery, uh, if he ain't, who? What hey, Avery are you uh, talking about? I'm a I'm a San Antonio fan, die hard. I I I, 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 I was down there. I was down there when the Arkansas kid, Arkansas guy, played for him. Avery Johnson, not a good head coach. Box, I did not know you was a Spurs fan, man. Man, I've been a Spurs fan since Alvin Robinson was. There. I got a picture of Alvin Robinson in a in a in a dome down there. See me, my me and Box got more stuff in common than we realize, man. man every man. day, y'all keep you getting remember, close remember to when they used to, <laughs> Hey, you remember they used to play in the Alamo Dome and they had to play it on one half. Yeah, yeah. I worked the concession stand on the other half, so I could get in free. This guy, <laughs> <laughs> he might got so, to beat though, D. <laughs> DZ. Man, I'm a still OD answer from a couple of epi- episodes ago. Yep. Give me Mike Jones, man, from UNC Greensboro. Came in town on us, had an office looking so good. I'm like, hey, he. I mean, if we lost Mus, give me a fresh new guy with some young energy and a great offensive scheme, and I'll be happy to be real. Nah. Okay. What about Mark Few? Who he, who he coaching? You know who Mark Few is from Gonzaga? Come on, bro. Man, I don't, he said Gonzaga. Hey. I don't care about them. <laughs> I'll, yeah, I'll Gonzaga Gonzaga we ain't playing nobody, bro. bro. They playing, yeah. they playing short of college out here, bro, and then make it to the we tournament. Are, we, man, are, we, we always say that. We always say that until they play somebody and they beat them. But they can't. They can't never beat nobody when they need to beat somebody. But but you know what, Mark Frick can do? He can recruit. Man, I ain't by trying to hear that. He can stay where he at. And he can coach. Man, I say this: leaving Gonzaga to come be an Arkansas coach in basketball is coach death. He can stay up there. How? How did that coach death when we're one of the best programs ever? Are you kidding? No, we're one of the top Gonzaga is one of the best programs ever. Gonzaga's never won a championship, bro. And Mark Few is the reason why Gonzaga's one of the best programs. But Gonzaga been in the, in the top 16, the hey. Sweet 16 for the hold last on, 20 on. years. The, don't let, let Unbiased get his point across because his 
Audio is trash audio right now. He's messing up the podcast. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, listen, I'm going to go ahead and hop off. It's because I'm on my other phone and not on my gray phone. So I'm going to go ahead and hop off. I appreciate you guys. I'm glad I don't have to jump OD for not dropping the link. Love you. <laughs> All right, my brother. <laughs> Right, I ain't gonna say so, thank you. Love you guys. Watch y'all. Are uh, you out too? All right, Brick, man. We appreciate, appreciate you coming you, and kicking man. it with us, man. We got Brick City, man. Thanks for for jumping on, man, and kicking it with us. And ain't, ain't nobody can't hear no Mark Feud. None of them busters. He can stay where he is. He can't win. He has been to the, mm. the 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 last game by eighteen ninety five hundred times, and they ain't never won. So you want to want him to come to Arkansas? No, nah, I'm gonna pass on that box. He's been there more than us. Constantly. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't trying to mm. hear it. Why Melo hollering? Man, this dude <laughs> always hollering in the uh in the chat, man. You <laughs> man, know what I'm saying? Dude, that, mm. hey, that dude at hey. work, he made mad. I was gonna say he get on here and get to yelling too, so it ain't <laughs> like he flexing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and that's just how he roll. What up, Melo 501, bro? Yes, sir. It's all right. love, baby. I definitely appreciate everybody coming in and kicking with us on the episode, man. We had a good time. As always, even though uh, mm-hmm. Latasha, a.k.a. Michael Matters, in the comments, uh, being a, a different trying to kind of troll this time, mm-hmm. we already know that's you. Uh, oh, stop she stop tweeting. Stop, she on there watching the show, cooking pancakes and uh, a dozen <laughs> of eggs and two packs of bacon and a whole <laughs> slew of grand biscuits. All on her bed for the 600 pound life episode. He said a slew of biscuits. <laughs> and she got she got two gallons of Kool Aid with, with four with four uh, whole bags of sugar. <laughs> hey man, she got oh, the, she got she got Carlos flat top grill in the in the bedroom cooking on burgers on that joint. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, shit. In the house, huh? It's in supposed to be house. outside. It's in the house. <laughs> nah, she in the house cooking, man. <laughs> anyway, man, thank y'all for coming on the show, man. Kicking it. We appreciate it. If you ain't done so, man, make sure you guys hit the like button on your way out, man. Uh, don't forget to subscribe on all our platforms Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch. Man, we even on Rumble. Also, run that. Uh, uh, podcast up on Spotify. We definitely need all the, the support we can get over there. Uh, and Box, what you got to say, baby? Hey, I'm good tonight. You good? What? Diesel. Yeah. What? Box said he good? Hey, man, on behalf of Coach Box, we just want to say thank you to the fans, <laughs> man. We know y'all love Box. You know, give him some love on the way out by hitting that like button, man. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hey, y'all hilarious in these comments, man. Y'all think we don't see anything? We see everything. So shout out to y'all. Keep supporting. And we appreciate y'all, man. Hope you enjoyed the show tonight. G, take us out of here, baby. <laughs> Yo, what it do, Wu Pig family? It's your boy, G Holmes, in the building. Oh, my God. Man, and we appreciate everything, everybody that's just coming in here, kicking it with your boys at the barbershop, man. You know, sometimes... We're going we, we gonna to step on some toes. We're going to ruffle some feathers. But guess what? If you don't like it, man, get your hair cut and get on down. So that's that. But you know what we want you to do? Man, we want you to experience peace of mind with Insurance Max. They are your one-stop shop for home, auto, and commercial insurance statewide. So don't wait. Call today for a free, no-obligation quote. Secure your future with Insurance Mac, where protection meets affordability. Call now and safeguard what matters at 870-534-2823. Again, that's 870-534-2823. And I'll share another little thing with you. I actually am not only, uh, you know, I talk about it, but I'm, I also switched my insurance to them. They saved me some money. I did that today. So I'm hey, don't talk about it. I'm, I'm going to be about it. I gave him a call, and guess what? I saved some money. Shout out to my nephew, Caleb, and my homeboy, West Main Insurance Max. They, they going to do it for you. Give them a call. Also, the OGs, 3M Electric. We can't forget about them. Hey, man, they are an electrical contractor serving Northwest Arkansas. And guess what they do? Both commercial and residential electrical contracting. They are SDVOSB. That is a service-disabled veteran-owned small business. 
They are reliable and dependable with no job being too big or too small. So when it comes to all of your electrical needs, give 3M Electric a call. Yo, the number is 479-408-9865. Again, that number is 479-408-9865. And you can tell both of them that the Woo Pig Podcast sent you. Shout out to our homeboys over there at Insurance Max and 3M Electric. Yo, we're going to keep on telling you guys, man, thank you. Put the dates on your calendar uh, April the 13th. We're going to be up on the hill for the spring game. We're going to be kicking it. We're going to let y'all guys know where we're going to be at so y'all can come through, man, drink a beer with us, kick it with us, and just, you know, just hang out with your boys, man. It's the barbershop. We take the barbershop everywhere we go. Also, August the 31st, down here in Little Rock, we will be out there. We're going to be out there strong, man. We're going to be cooking. We're going to be singing. We're going to be dancing. We're going to be kicking it. We're going to be having a good time, man. We're going to have some merch out there so y'all can rep the Woo Pig podcast and you can say what you say. So, man, we just want to tell everybody thank you. And with that, (laughs) you know what it do. I said what I said, baby. And we out. Oh, 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 my God. Yeah, it's the 501, baby. Uh-huh. You know how we get down on the Wolfie podcast. Woo. Shout out OD, shout out D.